The night was thick with tension, the cool breeze carrying the scent of the roses from Jungkook's secret garden. You moved silently through the grand halls of the mansion, your heartbeat racing as you approached the back door that led to the garden. The walls seemed to close in on you, each step echoing louder in your ears. You knew you had little time, Jungkook was preoccupied or so you hoped and this might be your only chance to escape. You pushed the heavy door open and quietly stepped into the garden. The only sound was the gentle rustling of leaves. The garden was large with winding paths that could easily confuse anyone. But you had spent days watching from your window, memorizing the garden's layout, planning for this very moment. You moved quickly, staying close to the shadows. Your breath was short. The tall bushes and flowers around you did nothing to ease the fear you felt. The only thing pushing you forward was the thought of escaping from the man who had taken you against your will. You finally reached the end of the garden, where you remembered there was a small gate leading to the woods. Freedom was just a few steps away. This is it. Today I'll get my freedom at any cost. I have to get out of here. I can't live like this. Trapped. As you were taking steps to find that hidden door, your heart was pounding in your chest with the thought of what if he again finds you. No, I have to try. I deserve my freedom. You pushed your fear aside and finally found a wall which was attached to a small gate that looks like a secret door. But before you reached for the gate, a soft, calm voice broke through the stillness, sending a shiver down your spine. Running away again? You froze while your hand inches from the latch. You didn't need to turn around to know who it was. His presence was overwhelming, the same presence that had haunted you your every waking moment since the day he took you. Slowly, you turned to face him, finding Jungkook standing a few feet away, his hands casually tucked into his pockets, a serene expression on his face. He looked at you with those dark eyes that always seemed to see right through you, and despite the circumstances, there was no anger in his gaze, just a calm, unsettling patience. The moonlight highlighted the sharp angles of his face, making him look even Please let me go. You managed to whisper while your voice trembled despite your best effort to remain strong. Jungkook took a step closer, closing the distance between you. Why don't you give up this stubbornness? He was calm, not even angry or mad at the fact that you were trying to escape once again. He is short-tempered but he never even raised his voice at you. You are the one who is stubborn. I want to go. Why don't you listen? Jungkook took a step closer, closing the distance between you. You know I can't do that. But you can do whatever you want, just stay by my side. Your stomach twisted at his words. The tenderness in his tone was more terrifying than any threat he could have made. He was always like this, unwaveringly calm, even when you fought against him. Even when you told him you hated him, he never raised his voice, never hurt you physically. I hate you. Anger was visible in your voice. He nodded slowly as if your words didn't cut as deep as you intended them to. I know, but that doesn't change anything. You wanted to scream and fight him, to do anything to crack the calm mask he wore like a shield, but instead you just stood there, feeling tears well up in your eyes, knowing that your chance for freedom had slipped away again. Jungkook stepped forward, closing the distance between you completely. He reached out and gently tucked a loose strand of hair behind your ear, his fingers lingering on your skin for just a moment too long. You don't have to be afraid, I'll protect you, always. You jerked your head away, glaring up at him with all the hatred you could muster. But he just smiled softly as if he could see through your anger as if he understood it better than you did. I don't need any protection from you and whatever you are doing you will regret, mark my words. You walked inside in anger while he sighed slightly watching your disappearing figure. As long as you are with me, I'm ready to recreate. He took a look at the door and was amazed as how did you even find this gate? It's a secret escape outside in case of emergency.
You came in your room filled with anger and slammed the door loudly. What does he think of himself? One day I'll escape successfully and he'll be left alone finding me but will never be able to do that. You crossed your arms and sat on the bed. You can do whatever you want, just stay with me. As if I'm a fool, he hasn't seen the real me till now. He will regret his decision of suddenly an idea crossed your mind and you got up. What did he say? Do whatever you want. Suddenly a smile appeared on your face. Now he'll walk me out of this mansion by himself. Get ready, John Jungkook. I'm going to take full advantage of your calmness. Let's test it a little. Jungkook came in his room and was about to take off his shirt when the door wide opened and he quickly pulled down his shirt when he saw you. He walked inside the room closing the door behind you while he looked at you confused. Your face shows no fear as always. What are you doing here? You didn't say anything and kept walking towards him until you reached closer to him and then grabbed his collar. Pulling him down to your level, your faces were inches away and Jungkook was amazed by your audacity. Why are you doing this? Why are you keeping me here? What do you want from me? Your voice was steady while Jungkook glanced at you, you still could not read his expressions. I want you to be safe, I want you to be with me. You clenched your jaws, but why? Why me? Why can't you just let me go? I'll never love you after what you have done. Jungkook's eyes flickered with something you couldn't quite play, something that almost looked like regret. I know, I know you hate me for taking you away from your life, but I can't let you go, not when I know what's out there, what could happen to you. Nothing is going to happen to me. He said leaving his collar, frustration pouring out of you. I had a life, friends, a future until you took it all away. You say you are protecting me, but all you have done is make me a prisoner. How can you expect me to ever feel anything but hatred for you? You don't understand. You're safe here with me. The world outside isn't what you think it is. You shook your head, disbelief clouding your thoughts. This isn't about safety, Jungkook. This is about control. You can't force someone to stay with you and expect them to care for you in return. His jaw tightened slightly, the only sign of tension in his otherwise calm demeanor. I'm not forcing you to care for me, but I can't let you leave, not yet. Then what? What do you want from me? How long do you plan to keep me here? Until I finally give in? Until I'm too broken to fight anymore? Jungkook's expression softened and for a brief moment, you saw something vulnerable in his eyes. I don't want to break you. I just want you to see that being with me isn't as terrible as you think. You stared at him. How can you say that? You took me away from everything I knew. My life, my freedom. You expect me to just accept that? He sighed, looking away for the first time since the conversation began. I know I can't make you understand, but I'll do whatever it takes to keep you safe, even if that means you'll never forgive me. You felt a wave of hopelessness crash over you. You don't understand why he's so adamant about your safety, from whom he's trying to keep you safe and how did he even know you? I'll never love you Jungkook, not after this. He looked back at you. Maybe not, but I can live with that, as long as you're here alive. Oh my god, that was really funny. You all were laughing at jokes Abraham was cracking. He's so funny and cheerful and always lightens up everyone's mood who stays around him. This is the fifth time I'm asking you to teach me how to crack such funny jokes. They are the best. He smiled bowing at you like a prince. Jungkook walked there but stopped at a distance when he saw you laughing and looking happy as you enjoy your time with the maids and guards. He ordered everyone who serves in this mansion to always be friendly around you because your nature is quite cheerful and you forget your problems once you are around people that makes you happy. He was admiring you when you noticed him but you rolled your eyes completely ignoring him making him smile. He knows that one day you'll understand him. He is doing all this just for you. 
for a promise that he had made to your father and most importantly because you are the love of his life even before you knew him he walked away from there because he had an important work elena looked at you when jungkook disappeared you are really lucky master always looks at you with eyes full of love he was never this much soft for anyone he kidnapped me i'm a prisoner here do you think this is how it feels to be lucky you are the only woman he had looked with pure love maybe his intentions were not bad if i were in your place i would never try to run sorry but i'm not like that i love my freedom and if you like him then why don't you just go and tell him she blinked shocked and you have no idea why you got mad when she talked about jungkook maybe you felt jealous when she talked about her dream to be with jungkook you have never been to that garden really but it's right there you were shocked to know that she did not see the garden even after living here for years I know it's there but that is forbidden place in this mansion no one is allowed to go there you were surprised to know that and wanted to know why such rule and what's the reason behind it you raised an eyebrow intrigued but why what's the reason behind such a strict rule the garden is special to master he planted those roses himself and tends to them with great care it's his private space a place of solace for him That's so unfair. Those beautiful red flowers are all over there. It looks like heaven. He waters them every day and makes sure everything is perfect. The garden means a lot to him. What makes it so special? Elena glanced around as if making sure no one else could hear. I've heard that the garden is a tribute to someone important to him. It's like a secret, special place. You felt a warm feeling realizing the roses meant more than just beauty. That's really sweet. I didn't know it had such a personal meaning. Elena smiled. Maybe one day you'll find out more about it. For now, it's a beautiful part of the mansion even if we can't go in. You nodded, but now you wanted to know why that garden is so special to him. Why he has kept it so private don't know why but these days your heart has made a soft spot for jungkook whenever mates talk about him you feel jealous as if no one has any right on him except you the moonlight illuminated the garden casting a silvery glow over the roses you stood among the blooms waiting for jungkook he always comes here around this time you have seen him from the window of your room you were playing with the petal of a rose that fell down You heard footsteps and don't know why you felt nervous something different that you have never felt before but these days it always feels same when you look at Jungkook He noticed you immediately but approached slowly you haven't slept yet you turned towards him trying to keep your heartbeat normal how can i sleep when i'm caged in a beautiful mansion still it feels like a prison You'll start to feel good once you accept the mansion as it has accepted you. Every part of it, every person here. There was a silence for some time, but you started to feel awkward so you broke it. Why is this garden so special to you? Why do you keep it so private? Jungkook's case often as you already understood that someone has told you about it. I've always found peace here. It's a place where I can think and be alone. You frowned. That's all. Elena told me that you never let anyone step in this garden. It's special to you, but then I've been here a lot of time. You never said anything to me. He chuckled and you felt your heart skipping a bit. You don't know what's happening to you. Why you were feeling weird now? There is all that anger and hate. Jungko came near you before he touched a rose. Do you like roses? You raised an eyebrow. That's not the answer to my question. He turned towards you. This garden is the answer to your question. Use your brain. He was about to leave when you called his name. Jungkook. He stopped while you walked to him.
You have been keeping me here and never really explained why. Why did you kidnap me? What's so dangerous that you had to do this? And why you wanna protect me out of all? Do you know me? He turned towards you while a sadness was visible in his eyes. Don't punish me, Jungkook. Even if you were trying to help me from anything, I would never be able to believe in you if you keep silent like this. I deserve to know why I'm here, why you are doing all this and most importantly, who am I to you? Jungkook felt a sharp pain in his heart. He also doesn't want to keep this a secret anymore. He's falling in love with you more than someone should. He's losing himself and it's hard for him to see you hating him when all he wants is to love you unconditionally and get that same love back. If I tell you, will you believe me? This caught you off guard. If you'll be honest, why would I not? He took a deep breath and nodded before looking in your eyes, full of sincerity and love. There was a pin drop silence everywhere and you were looking at him waiting for him to reveal the truth. The reason behind his action, you didn't even realize that you were holding your breath. You really want to know why I brought you here? He nodded serious but Jungkook's eyes glint with mischief. Yes, and don't try to dodge this question. He took a step closer to you all serious. He smirked a teasing smile playing on his lips. Alright then, the truth is, I needed someone to take care of my roses. You blinked momentarily, thrown off his response. What? Take care of your Jungkook, I'm serious. And so I am. The reason I'm keeping you here is because I want to keep you all to myself, you know. I've always wanted a beautiful flower like you in my garden. You blinked in surprise trying to process his words. Then as the meaning sank in, your face heated up with anger and embarrassment. What? Are you kidding me right now? I'm not some plant you can just keep in a pot, Junko. He shoved him but he just laughed, clearly enjoying your reaction. His laughter only made you more frustrated and he started hitting his chest with your fist. Your words tumbling out in a mix of anger and confusion. I knew it. I knew you had some ridiculous plan. You're unbelievable, Jungkook. You think you can just... Before you could finish, he caught your wrist gently, still chuckling. He held your hands against his chest. The look in his eyes was unreadable but you were too mad to even care about it. You are so cute when you are mad, you know that. Your heart skipped a beat and you hated that his words made you feel flustered. You glared at him but your anger was already starting to fade, replaced by that confusion mix of emotion that always seemed to surface around him. This isn't funny Jungkook, I'm not going to let you just keep me here like some prize. Jungkook's smile softened. I'm not trying to keep you like a prize wine, I'm trying to protect you because I care about you more than you know. You paused, your breath catching in your throat. The sincerity in his voice caught you off guard, making it hard to stay angry, but you were still determined not to let him off the hook that easily. Protect me. From what? And why you all of people? Do you think I'll believe you now? Jungkook hesitated for a moment, then gave you a half smile his eyes full of something tender. Because believe it or not, I've cared about you for a long time. I've known you since you were a kid, even if you don't remember me. And somewhere along the way, I fell for you hard. You stared at him speechless. His word hung in the air and for a moment you didn't know how to respond. And to be honest, I've always thought you'd look pretty cute as my wife. That did it. Your face flushed with a mix of embarrassment and fury. You pulled your hand free from his grip and started hitting his chest again, your words tumbling out in a rush. If you think you can force me, you're wrong. I'll make you regret for even looking at me. Jungkook couldn't stop laughing, his deep chuckle filling the garden as he ca caught your hand again, this time pulling you closer, just enough to feel the warmth between you. I'm serious, Vyan. I've known you since you were a child. Your father was a good man, loyal and kind. He worked for me for years and I never trusted anyone else more than him. But before he died, he asked me to look after you. 
to protect you from the people who might want to hurt you because of him and I promised him I would but But somewhere along the way, it stopped being just about a promise. I couldn't just watch over you from afar anymore. I wanted you close to keep you safe myself and I fell in love with you long before I even knew it. That's why I brought you here, not just to protect you, but because I can't imagine my life without you in it. Your breath caught in your throat, his words hit you like a wave washing over the walls you had built up. You wanted to be angry to push him away, but the sincerity in his eyes, the way he looked at you like you were the most important person in the world, it made it impossible. You, you loved me? Jungkook nodded, his eyes never leaving yours. Yes, more than I've ever loved anyone or anything. You didn't know what to say. The anger that had fueled you moments before was gone, replaced by a whirlwind of emotions you weren't ready to face. But as you stood there staring into his eyes, you realized that maybe, just maybe you didn't hate him as much as you thought and that scared you more than anything else. Jungkook's thumb brushed over the back of your hand, a gentle, almost hesitant gesture. I know it's a lot to take in and I don't expect you to feel the same way, not right away, but I want you to know that everything I have done, I have done because I care about you and I'll wait however long it takes for you to see that. For a moment, the world seemed to stand still. The roses around you swayed gently in the night breeze and the moonlight bathed the garden in a soft glow. You were so close to him and despite everything, you couldn't bring yourself to pull up. You are still not off the hook, Jungkook. You kidnapped me, remember? He nodded while a soft smile playing on his lips. I know and I'll spend the rest of my life making it up to you, if you'll let me. Not that easily, John Junko. I'll test your patience to the core until you give in. You are underestimating me. He chuckled completely amazed by your response. I would love to see that. It will be fun. You couldn't stop yourself from smiling anymore.